I can't find it nowhere else. Whoosh, Took it right off a mannequin, baby, and now it's on me. Hey gems, it's your girl, Mr. Mima, and we are back at it again with another video. So today, we are doing... <laughs> Oh, rainbow! <laughs> so y'all know I love me some rainbow, baby. I would never get tired. Now, this is my first. Oh, am I lying? I may have stepped into a rainbow last year, but this is my first time like really going into. I went to two rainbows, looking for pieces, and rainbow is an interesting store, right? Uh, first of all, are you subscribed? That's what I would say. <laughs> Rainbow is an interesting store. So you you can't really just go in there and just like pick things off the rack and boom, it looks great. Sometimes you have to dig through some things, um, look past some suspect looking florals, some weird designs, and to, you know, just to kind of find that gem like right there in the middle, in the back, in the section somewhere tucked in. Um, and another thing I've noticed about Rainbow is that Sometimes <clears throat> there will be a gem in front of you, but you can't tell because it's literally in a pile of rubble, okay? So you really have to open your mind, open your eyes, and kind of just like let the garments come to you. <laughs> so that being said, I felt like I was really like having to like pick through and really like, you know, reach out for potential gems. Cause I was just like, this isn't really giving what I thought it was gonna give. Okay, now sometimes Rainbow has off seasons where it's just like you can't find anything. So I don't know if we're just in an off season or if it's the state of Georgia. I, <laughs> I don't know because every store is different. I don't know. But I did have some, you know, I had two decent sized bags full of things. So we just won't get into it. Um, oh, and this is not now is when I say it, right? But before we get started, are you subscribed? I was a little early, but are you subscribed? I wouldn't have to be early or on time if you were subscribed. Sus, sus, sir, ma'am. Stop it. <laughs> Get help. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. So this lace crop top is the first piece and <laughs> I picked this up because I said maybe this is like a hidden gem. I don't, I don't know if it is. <laughs> First of all, it's a little, it's a little tight. It's a little tight. I buy everything in a three X at Rainbow, but Rainbow is kind of like Fashion Nova in a sense that I mainly only wear dresses there. A lot of the tops don't fit, and especially the bottoms. Most of the bottoms don't ever fit. Um, so if I do find one that fits, it's basically like oh. Oh my god um because it is a rare occurrence now i thought this would be you know something cute to put on top of like a black bra a bralette a tube top something pair of leggings call it a day um it has this detail here where you guys can adjust the drawstring gives you a little more skin you know it's supposed to like dip in a little bit and if it fit properly it could have been a vibe like you know, this would have been real cute with black underneath it, with some cute, like, sexy leggings, a nice little heel, cute little handbag. Like, I could have done something with this, you know? A cute night out on a town, but chill. But, you know, still bringing the heat. Um, I'm just too big for it. <laughs> I'm just a little too big for it. You know, it's not sitting on the body the way I want it to, the way I envisioned it to. Um... So I'm not in love with this, not in love, but you know, this is an example of a potential hidden gem, just not for me. <laughs> next. So next we have this cropped, it's like a really light, like very light um, 
t-shirt hoodie situation now i picked this up because i figured it would be like really cute to go with like joggers or sweatpants or even leggings throw on some sneakers a crossbody a backpack whatever the case is you wear this to the gym and just have it be like a really casual basically a crop shirt with a hoodie now rainbow is really good for giving you these like little cheapy t-shirt thingies um and i say cheapy because it is very thin honey like this material is very much thin but something about the like the hoodie aspect is just it's giving me vibes <laughs> it's giving me vibes um and i like that it was white so i feel like i might wear this to the gym or something or with some sweatpants to go run some errands Ooh, and i have acquired quite a few pairs um of some really cute sweatpants so these might get some wear time in the fall for sure for sure yeah me likes it's probably not gonna survive many washes to be honest to be frank um but you know i'm gonna get my two wears out of it <laughs> now you know what i'm not even gonna play myself with this top I just took it off the rack, put it in my cart because it said 3X. But baby, this, this is not for me. <laughs> this is not a 3X that, that stretches, baby. Not enough. Um, but it's so cute. So I figured I would show you guys anyways. Off the shoulder, it has this cute little like linen print detailing on it. Not like linen, but you know like that tablecloth kind of print? Oh, I hope the lights aren't so bright that you can't see. Aww. But it's really cute, y'all. Like, I feel like this would be really cute with some jeans, a sandal, like... This is really cute. I like it. Oh man, I should have known better. Like, Jemima, could I just pull out the back? Like, what was I thinking? Uh, 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 <laughs> what, what was I thinking? Oh my God, but it's so cute though. Like, do y'all see the vision? But do you see the vision though? This is definitely more 1X, 2X baby like i don't know this would have been really cute though are you kidding me and i got it for a steal no i didn't that was regular price 16.99 <laughs> but so cute that makes me sad but while i have y'all here um i took this top <laughs> right off the mannequin i hold you not i literally stripped the mannequin and left her naked Cause I couldn't find any more of these. And I said, I think, I think this might fit. This reminds me of the PLT um, blouses that tie similarly. So I was like, um, let me see if Rainbow gonna give you a do. Okay. And I was like, um, this is not bad at all. This is not bad at all. Now you could wear it the way I'm wearing it with like a bralette or something that's gonna give you a little bit more coverage. Or you can work with the plunge bra and have the girls lifted and out. Okay, which is probably the way I'm gonna wear it. The only thing is the sleeves are a little, like the arms fit surprisingly, but I'm like, I just need a little more length so I can move with flexibility. Cause I mean, I could finesse. I finesse. If I broke none of my business. <laughs> like I can definitely finesse, but um, I definitely feel constricted doing this. So. You could unbuckle it, but I'm just like, what vibe is that gonna give for a top like this? So I kind of feel like it has to stay like this. This is actually really cute. I am so glad I stole it. Oh, I love that I stole it. And I love how the back conforms to the body because it has that, I think you guys call it shirring. What is it called, that accordion stretch? It's perfect. Like literally the construction of this is genius because it's stretchy right here and it'll expand or decompress the way you need it to to fit your body. The only thing is the sleeves. Other than that, a oh, rainbow did that. Can y'all come up with this in more colors? I need to look online and see if they have this. Y'all, when I told you, I saw on the mannequin, I said, oh baby, I can't find it nowhere else. <laughs> Took it right off the mannequin, baby, and now it's on me, period. <laughs> and I'm not gonna hold you. I like this better than the PLT one. <gasps> Like PLT has more sleeves, but I like how this one has more body. Like the PLT one, my back fat is out more. This one does cover it more and it comes to the length that I like it. I like this. Oh, sometimes all you need is that one piece, maybe one or two to make the whole haul worth it. 
And this is it, baby. Because other tops. But this one. This is cute. I like it. Yes. <laughs> so last but not least, I purchased these like um tube tops from rainbow they're very stretchy um and honestly they don't fit the best but because of the color palette i've been able to find these in shades that i've been struggling to find and top similar to these anywhere else so i went ahead and grabbed these and um i'll probably replace them as i find better fitting options in the future but for now like this is going to it'll do okay um already i've worn one i have another tan one that i wore so that's why she's not here right now, but I mean, I got four. So I figured singing three is good enough. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna try this on and show you guys how this little itsy bitsy top fits on this big body biz. <laughs> so the fit to me isn't perfect. I don't really like how it's cutting into like my skin and kind of rolls over like right at the top. Um, it, is, it is longer in length, which I also do not like because my torso is just a very weird area. You guys wonder why I like crop tops so much. It's because if the, the top isn't long enough, I get a lot of this, like just rolling up, not sitting where it's supposed to. And then my booty's like real high. And my stomach is real low. And so it's just like, <sighs> so basically I kind of wish this was a crop top instead of it try trying to be like a full top because it, you know, um, but because of the color palette and just the versatility, I just feel like, uh-uh, I gotta keep these. I'll make it work, bruh. And I just tucked in the roll or whatever. It's not cute. Actually, it looks worse right now because I didn't like fix it up or whatever, but yeah. I could finesse it until I find better. On to the dresses now. So when I saw this dress on the rack, at first I wasn't going to pick it up because I already have a throw on and go kind of dress like this, but I decided to try this one out because of the back. Um, I was like, you know, there's some strappy detailing going on in the back. Um, I was hoping it would go down a little further and be like, oh, maybe all the way down here. Like, I feel like that would really make it worth it. I mean, it's a cute, it's a cute lift right now. Oh, whatever. But you know, <laughs> can you see the bra? But yeah, I really like that crisscross detail in the back. I just feel like it judges it up a little bit, gives a little spice. Um, otherwise it'd be a super plain dress. So, you know, for my girls that like a little extra razzle dazzle, it fits well, beautiful length. You can't be mad at it. Literally a thrown and go kind of dress. Love to see it. <laughs> Next. So for this next dress, um, I wasn't sure if I really liked it or not. You know, it kind of just grabs my attention because of the colors. Um, and I felt like I had a lot of accessories that could like hype up. Mm. And I felt like I had a lot of accessories that could really like make those colors pop. Um, and so I really could spin this a couple ways. Um, but the dress by itself, I'm just like, ooh. I don't know. I don't know. Now, I feel like if I went the casual route with this dress, I would like it better. Like this topped with an oversized jean jacket um, and some cute sneakers or some sandals. I actually did buy some sandals that would go with these from Rainbow. I was like, you know, pop this with it, maybe like an orange bag or something and do like the more casual route. That works because I don't know if I like it dressy which you could absolutely make it dressy. Also, it's a little looser than I would like for this style. Um, like you can't, I don't think you can tell on camera, but it's like wrinkling up. Like it's just, I don't know. What do you guys think about this, uh, this print? I don't know how I feel about it. But I figured I'd grab it and, and let y'all, let y'all see. Cause I could do something with it. It's just do I want to. You know, like out of all the dresses I own, will I actually pick this out to style or wear or whatever? I don't know. The sandals are cute though. Next. <laughs> this next dress I purchased simply because I'm a big believer in if you see something cute that is white, grab it because I am sick and tired 
of having an all white event to go to and I'm just like, what the heck am I gonna wear? What am I gonna wear? And of course, when you wanna go shopping at that time, you never find anything white. So I figured a nice, solid, basic, white bodycon midi dress, you cannot go wrong, okay? And I could wear a bra with this because the straps are thick, 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 thick. The girls will be lifted and it's just, oh, oh, whoa. First of all, this split is literally up my butthole. Like, I actually do really like this dress though. So I think I'll just have that closed. Sometimes you gotta think about it cause it's just like, paying to have it closed is worth more than the dress. But the value of this dress is worth a lot to me because like when I tell y'all like I just this is just a nice classic cut you can wear it out to a nice uh dinner it's not too short this split is ridiculous though like that's not for about that but aside from that like I just think this is a good go-to that I can throw on for pretty much any all-white occasion I could dress it down or up. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this and have the split sewn shut because that is ridiculous. Like it's literally right at the, uh, the back door. I don't like that. But I actually really like this um, neckline. Y'all know I'm usually more of a spaghetti strap kind of girl, but I really like this. Like, if you really want to be snatched, put this on with a, a nice uh, lifting bra, some spanks, and you're going to be... And I feel like that's the vibe this gives. Like, I want to be... You know, I like this dress. Okay, next. Hmm. Now, did I pick up this dress for the exact same reasons? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Now this one is real see-through, so you have to be careful about how you move with this. You're definitely going to want to wear some kind of undergarment underneath this. Um, some shorts, maybe, maybe another dress, I don't know. Like you're really gonna need to put something underneath this. Um, once again, I just tucked in the sleeves of my bralette, so I feel like that covers the girls. And I have shorts on underneath this, so I feel like I'm pretty secure right now. But you are definitely going to need to do that. Now you can wear it as is really cute really simple but once again this is a piece where your accessories are really going to spice it up put on a brightly colored kimono put on a cute cardigan a cute bag like those are really what's going to make or break your outfit well it's not gonna break because even alone this is a cute okay this is a vibe just be careful but it's a vibe but you can definitely add on to it switch it up a little bit i like that i like that a lot Period. <laughs> now, the color palette of this dress is so cute. I just had to grab it. Like, how cute. I just love, I love the, I love the print, the colors, like the neutral tones, the browns, creams. It is just everything. I really like this one, y'all. Like, this might be my favorite, like, dress out of the bunch. Yeah, this is my favorite dress, and that black top was my favorite top. Well, was it the only time that fit? <laughs> of course, it's the favorite. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, I love this. I cannot wait to wear this one out. Like, hello. This is so cute. <laughs> now you guys already know how I feel about a straight-ish neckline. The only thing about this dress in particular is that it is a little high up. So while I would prefer more cleavage, this does allow you to wear a regular bra, a full coverage bra, to hoist the girls up, have them sit at attention, and still get that beautiful neckline, okay? Once again, a thick, thick, thick strap so you can conceal the bra strap. I love the gold hardware. I feel like it adds a little something, very much something. This is really cute. Like, they're fake buttons, but they're really cute. And I feel like they dress up the look a little bit. So between the, the buttons, the hard, is this missing a button? Oh no. So between the hardware and a neckline, you can do more with this dress. It doesn't just look like, oh, let's run to the mall. You know what I'm saying? Put on some cute jewelry, a nice little bag, some kikis, and you could, 
you can do something with this. A nice little happy hour, a nice little, like, maybe not like five star restaurant dinner. I mean, you really could, for real, for real. But like a cute little something, you know, like a step above a Friday's. Maybe like a mom and pop kind of restaurant. You could do something with this, okay? This is really cute. Woohoo! That's nice. That's really nice. I like how you, I really like the buttons. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's really cute. And it has like this detailing on it. I feel like you won't be able to pick it up on camera, but like, do you guys see the ridges? So cute. And I also have this sleeveless denim jacket. <sighs> now, let me try this on because I actually didn't do that, which is very dangerous. Um, they also have it in white. So depending on how this fit, I might pick up the white one. But I was actually thinking about cropping this. But let's see how it fits first. Um, yeah, this is cute. Cute little, you know, throw-on situation. Um, I could leave it like this. I don't love it like this, though. I feel like if I cropped it, it would accentuate my waist a little bit more. Um, because it's like, this is not really doing anything. It's just more so aesthetic vibes, a look, you know? It's not keeping me warm. First of all, half the back of it is, is holes, distressed. And I feel like, yeah, if it was like cropped, it would be cuter, it would kind of just give me a little bit more shape as opposed to, you guys see the vibe I'm saying? Cause y'all be trying to drag me like, I'll be cute though. Like, I mean, I wouldn't wear this dress, the hardware is clashing, but like a plain dress. Um, yeah, it just gives me more shape as opposed to like letting it hang and then I look a little more boxy it's giving construction worker. And that's not what I'm trying to give, you know? Time and place for everything, but like I said, either short or long. I would love this if it was long. Oh my God. If somebody could find me a really like long denim jacket, I would die. Like sleeveless, ugh, or even with sleeves. Any, any kind of long denim jacket that actually fits. Sign me up, I would love that. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna cut this because it's not, it's not understanding the assignment. I don't think I'm gonna get the white one. I think this is, this is fine. Like this will be really cute to throw on, you know? Or oh, some like camo shorts or something, which I have. One of them little two tops I showed y'all, period. Period. Okay, so that is the end of today's haul. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, I did find these items in store. I wear a size 3X. I will try to find them online. If you don't see a link, it's because I couldn't find them. I'm so sorry. But you might have to check out your neighborhood rainbow store to see if they have it in your location. But yes, that is it for today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Toodles! <laughs>